Now today our topic is liver. Liver is considered as the most uh, largest organ in the body and uh, physiologically it has great importance in the body because it maintains blood glucose level. We know that the normal glucose level in the blood that is maintained by the liver is 65 to 65 to 110 ml per 100 ml of blood. Now, we some people also consider skin as largest organ, but we could also say that uh, liver is inside the body is largest. Now, liver has a central position in the abdominal cavity uh, beneath the ribs location of the uh, liver is beneath the ribs liver is most important as we know we, uh, we, we can say that liver performs many physiological functions mean uh, storage you, you could say storage of glucose in the body and uh, detoxification detoxification bile secretion carbohydrates metabolism uh, and uh, fats metabolism and the last one protein metabolism So we can say that liver has a great physiological roles in the body. So the disease of the liver will be life threatening because it will have great adverse effects on the body. Uh, the disease can be life threatening. Now we, we should also need to know about the regeneration power. The, the only uh, organism in the phylum uh, kingdom animalia belong to uh, platyhelminthes which have the power of regeneration and liver also have the power of regeneration it secretes bile we know that this is the main product which we obtain from the liver its secretion is known as bile which is very helpful and uh, most of uh, the cell of the liver are called uh, hepatocyte cells hepatocyte cells the hepatocyte cells of the liver secrete bile and there are also copper cells which are phagocytic in action means they are they help in detoxification in, in the liver liver inside the liver now some terms related to liver are glyco glycogenesis glycolysis and glycogenolysis and the uh, last one is glyconeogenesis we know that uh, liver maintain the blood glucose level when the blood glucose level inside the body is great the liver help to maintain and to uh, make make the uh, glucose level constant so when we know that liver has some some terms related to it glycogenesis glycogenesis is the conversion of glycogen the conversion of glucose excess glucose to glycogen and glycolysis is the production of free energy uh, breakdown of glucose is called glycolysis so means here free energy is produced in, in, in the body by the breakdown of glucose and glycogenolysis is the big conversion of glycogen into glucose means the reverse of glycogenesis is glycogenolysis this this you should need to know about very much carefully because uh, this is in, uh, in contrast to each others 
glycogenesis is something else and glycogenolysis is the big conversion of glycogen into uh, glucose for the production of energy whenever the body have a deficiency of glucose uh, the, the extra gly glycogen is converted back into the gl glucose to help take energy now some uh, non-sugar uh, conversion of different substance also occur just like we, we, we can say that in the body there are uh, proteins and fats other things are present which are uh, converted into the glucose this conversion is called gluconeogenesis this is very important also you should know you, you should need to note this gluconeogenesis is the non sugar conversion of uh, protein they, these are non sugar so their conversion into glucose is called gluconeogenesis liver has also other function which we will be study in the further proceeding lecture thank you